just as a footnote to that episode, I did finally, just after finishing recording, realize I left a whole bunch of stuff in and uh, fortunately managed to get back and get it. Uh, I think I've got it all. Uh, so yeah, so nearly lost uh, all my stuff. Um, well, while we're here, we might as well have a quick look at one of my other builds that you can actually see from here. So let's end a pearl over there. Uh, I need to eat. So this will probably go as the next episode. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm recording it all in one go. So, and I hate watermelon, <laughs> but it's what I've got. Oh, hit me. Okay, so coming through here. This is a build that kind of is about halfway between what I wanted it to be and what it ended up being. Oh. Oh, that's on the water. Squids! Uh, cool. Alright, well this particular build started with this pier. Uh, basically, I travelled out that way because... Uh, oh, I ended up out that way because of uh, the former nether. I'd found something in the former nether. Like, uh, we unfortunately had a few issues with one of the updates and our nether portal screwed up or our nether screwed up completely and erased itself so I had a portal out there that was connected to a blaze dual blaze farm or dual blaze fauna um, unfortunately I don't know if it still does I can't even find the portal it's somewhere out there but anyway I rode a boat back here and this is where I landed so I decided to build uh, a town here. So this is the the beachside city of a tree. You, ha 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 ha! I am so creative. Um, so a tree is kind of supposed to be like a port city. There's not much to any of these houses. They're just houses. Um, and a guy on the server, Firefly 06, he was going to help me to finish off the insides, but. Uh, when he gets, <laughs> if and when he gets around to it, it's fine. Uh, I was going to put some villages in here to kind of make it look nicer, but uh, yeah, it, it came out okay. Like they're kind of what I would expect them to be. Uh, I need to probably make some more sort of hedges and shrubberies and little plants. I can't like this sort of hover, like this cliff sort of hovers over everything it's sort of connected but not connected uh, I haven't dug any of this out this is naturally formed so uh, I think the only bits I really took out was the, there was some coal so if anything I've made it look more sort of randomly generated um, so yeah so there's just a few cities around or huts around and then I built this castle um, this was more of an exercise in using up as much stone brick as I could uh, and because I wanted to practice that which is making the, the flag um, so yeah so this is the Atreyu castle it's kind of I don't know what it would be based off but uh, kind of a port city I thought in my in my head that um, it would eventually be filled with villages. I, I haven't bothered bringing any over. I might get around to it, might not. It doesn't really make much difference. So this is the castle though, and I'm quite pleased with how this looked because this is the first time where you could rotate stairs that I, I built something. So I made a cool little pattern there. Um, quite liked it, I thought it was fun. And this is when I first started to play with textures um, so the cobble and the stone brick um, I don't know what that is, it's a missing block so I've, I've lost a block 
So this is the first level, so there's a mezzanine, you come out and you can stand here and look over the, the city. Um, we're not quite at the flagpole level, but um, I put all these little flags because these are the flags of a tree. Um, I keep saying it, it's quite funny. Um, I just sort of made them up. Uh, actually, the, the house of Atreides is an eagle, and it's these colours, so... Yeah, there you go. You learn some, uh, some Dune trivia. Um, which is, funnily enough, what my name was based on. Uh, Dune 2. And, to a lesser extent, the Dune books. So, yeah, so this is the port city of Atreyu. That's the awesome flag and hopefully we'll see how we go. No. <laughs> yes! I'm on top of the flag. <laughs> so you can see uh, just the corner of the, the Japanese village uh, from the top of the tower. And here's the flag. So this is quite cool to make. I uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, so yeah. So this is build 2 on the tour. Um, now I'm going to quickly uh, cut and we'll be back at the arena. Okay, I'm back at spawn. I'm about to end up my way over to the... Uh, oop, up the tree. Uh, to the arena. Uh, but I thought I might show you as we go. Uh, I've, built a, I've built a road. Uh, <laughs> I've got all powered redstone lamps. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really hide the uh, switch, but it works. So it's a fairly long, fairly straight road. I'll stuff that one up. Um, just comes land, then does a silly dog leg, and then finishes off at the arena. So yeah, this this road's quite cool. I like the the, the colours in it. Yeah, so this is the arena now. So as you can see, we've kind of got uh, this sort of viewing area around here. Um, you can also stand up there to view. Uh, I forget which side has the actual hooks, but yeah, I've built a, a sort of area here to keep the mobs out. Uh, they were coming in a fair bit. Uh, with this, they kind of get stuck looking at you from down there, so they don't bother coming in. Um, I'm sure when they get smart, oh, they are a little bit smarter, but they'll they'll eventually figure out they can come through this door. But perhaps we can set up pistons or something to prevent them from coming in. So yeah, so I've built another sphere around it. Um, still yet to give it a go, so hopefully soon. Um, when a few more people come on. Unfortunately I've only had one or two people on and off coming in, but uh, ooh, that's going to end badly. Oh, yep, it did. And oh, we're in the tree. And tree to roof. Done. So this is, yeah, you can kind of see the sort of curve around. Uh, that's what I was going for. It's really cool. I really like this. Um, probably not quite as round as it should be. This is the outside layer isn't. It's it's kind of the same as the inside layer, but it's a lot longer, so it needed to be more spread out a bit. But I still like it. Um, but yeah, so this arena will hopefully get used fairly soon. Um, and then we'll be able to uh, do some battles. Um, as you can see, the roof, I never finished, I never finished it. Uh, I don't have any, I don't have any correct wood to finish it. But yeah, so uh, I think for the next project, uh, we're going to go to uh, the, the Emerald Mines. Um, I may have talked about the Emerald Mines, but I may not have. Uh, it's an area up to the far north, I think it's way over there, about 2,000 blocks that way, uh, in newly generated terrain where emeralds were spawning, so naturally you're carrying emeralds. So at the 1.3 update I took off, found somewhere that hadn't been, hadn't been explored and uh, started 
to build a little hut there. Um, I'll probably make the journey of this off camera uh, and then show you what I've currently got there and then we'll kind of talk about what we want to accomplish. And this one I will be, I will be recording while I build so uh, you won't have to see the, the finished product. You'll get to see the work in progress too. Anyway, um, I will be back in a moment. Okay, here we are. Um, this is the Emerald Mine. Um, and so we just come through the portal. Um, here's what we currently have. It's just a little a little hut, uh, a weird fountain that I decided to build, which actually goes all the way through to a cave. Um, happy coincidence, that one. Um, and also the mine. So this is the the emerald mine, a um, little bit plain at the moment, there's not much going on aside from actual branch mining, so if we go for a wander in, um, all this has been hand dug mostly by me, there was another guy on the server giving me a hand, um, or he was going to give me a hand, I, I haven't seen him since we started this project, like he was here for the first uh, little while and then he disappeared, but He's probably busy. So yeah, um, Beef Man. There he is. Um, when he finally comes, that's his spot. <laughs> but yeah, here's um, my areas. I've I've coded them, labeled them. Um, the uh, purple and brown side isn't quite as extensive as the uh, green side. So it's basically 40, 40 tunnels across. Um, and then several extensions back so um, I forget how long exactly each extension is but I don't think it's a set length I'm just kind of winging it making it up as we go um, so yeah so that's this is the emerald mine uh, it has so far yielded not a heck of a lot of emeralds it's yielded about 20 20 or 30 ore emerald ore, but given that they're fairly rare uh, I, f I feel that's a bit of a win. It's given me a lot more diamond. Uh, so, oh, there's redstone. But yeah, so this is the uh, the mines. Um, this is basically where I get a lot of my minerals, at least for this project. Uh, that's where I'll be getting them from. Um, but what I'm planning on building up here is similar to the uh, Japanese village but instead of a Japanese village it's going to be basically a woodcutters camp so it's going to be kind of all built out of wood and logs and stuff and uh, sort of set up over that way um, at the foot of this sort of hill oh hello go away go away I'm talking. There was another friend over there. You can go away too. Where'd he go? Buddy. Um, yeah, so it'll be somewhere over here. Uh, we'll end a pearl up onto the roof. That'll probably be the easiest way to see it. Um, but there's a big valley around here that I wanted to build in. So this will stay here. This will kind of be my my base camp thing and then inside there'll be a big uh, walled off area and big wooden log fences uh, it'd be awesome if I could build like a piston bridge or something to get into it but that might be pushing my redstone prowess a bit far um, so yeah that'll be here um, so hopefully in the next week or so we'll get we'll get cracking on that um, but until then uh, I will see you next time thank you for watching goodbye